JT did it again. This is On Air with JT. Join JT, visionary and host for a 420 friendly improv and variety talk show featuring pop culture, news, interviews, debates and the home of the famous JT Rants. Here, mental health awareness is at the forefront, with JT on a mission to inspire and spread mental health awareness. You are listening to On Air with JT. Thank you so much for listening or watching. I truly, truly do appreciate it. And like always, my name is Justin Thomas, but you can call me JT. And you are listening or watching a brand new episode of On Air with JT. Being recorded at 1.52 a.m. <laughs> yes, the grind is real. <laughs> and of course, this episode is brought to you by PurpleRoseSupply.com. Get your can of guard today. And I teamed up with Purple Rose Supply. And right now, we are offering 20% off. Even after the whole 420 deal that was going on, you can still get 20% off on your can of guard, which will save you money, time, get you higher, It's JT approved. And you get 20% off? What do you have to lose? Nothing. <laughs> so head over to purplerosesupply.com and use my promo code JT20. That's promo code JT20 for 20% off. That's P U R P L E. R-O-S-E-S-U-P-P-L-Y dot com. Use promo code JT20 for 20% off. You can watch the entire episodes, clips, and so much more content at my YouTube channel, if you do have an account, I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe, if you do like the show, and if you do want to stay up to date, hit that notification bell. Just head over to YouTube and type in On Air with JT. You can listen to the podcast on all major streaming platforms, such as Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and so many more different platforms. All the links to watch the show, listen to the show, or follow me on social media, or to even get in contact with me or the show, just head over to onairwithjt.com. That's onairwithjt.com. And if you are interested in a possible partnership, sponsorship, advertising, please, serious inquiries only. Send me an email at onairwithjt at gmail.com. That's onairwithjt at gmail.com. Welcome to the show. I'm sure you guys heard that loud ass car. <laughs> car. <laughs> um, yeah, that's Boston for you. Just your typical drug deals going on at 2 a.m. on a Saturday night <laughs> in the 617. <laughs> uh. Yeah, man. I'm just so happy. And I know I, I say it all the fucking time. And I apologize if it annoys you guys. But I really can't reiterate how many, you know, not how many times, but how much I am grateful and thankful to every single person that supports me or the show or my brand 
what I stand for. And again, whether you listen to a few minutes of the episodes, the show, you listen to half an episode, a full episode, or maybe you just watch a couple clips here and there on my Instagram or Facebook or TikTok or YouTube, whatever. Thank you. Like, I I really fucking mean it. And I honestly could not be more thankful. And I really don't know how to express my gratitude. Really. I really don't. I mean, other than just, you know, saying every time when I feel like I should say it. And that's what I do. But as the show does grow in numbers, you know, financially as well, there's going to be a lot of cool things that are going to be coming with On Air with JT and my other companies and shows. We're going to be doing like a lot of giveaways like sometimes money, sometimes gift cards, like maybe like a PS5, you know, shit like that. Because I, I love giving back. And if you listen to some of my past episodes, you know that. But I don't really talk about it. I'm not open. I'm not like super vocal about it because that's just not who I am. You know, I'm a giving person and I'm very generous, but I'm not the person to be like, you know, yeah, I just did this for that person. Like, no, that's not who I am. Just not. You know, I don't like people or respect people that do things for people and then later on throw it in their face. Like, yeah, you know, don't you remember when I did this for you and I did that? Like, I'm not with that. Now, if you are very generous to someone and someone takes advantage of your kindness for weakness or whatever it might be, and it gets to a certain point, yeah, you might be you you can bring something up and you know maybe just to you know bring back some of those brain cells to someone's mind. But I've seen people literally, you know, write down literally or just in their mind, you know, I did this for this person for this much money. You know, it was was (laughs) $9.86. Like, that's not who I am. I mean, I I get if you're talking business or something like that, but just on a personal level, every time I, I, I give or I gave to someone, I never expected something in return. Just never. And I think that's the way that you should go about life. You know, because again, people do not have the same heart. They don't have the same mind as you. They don't have the same life perspective. Yes, you can have, you know, a lot of shared common interests or experiences with someone. But again, you never know someone's 
true intentions or motives. I mean, some people do. But for the most part, a lot of people are just going around life, walking around life like a zombie And a good, a good majority of the population in the world, you know, again, they walk around like fucking zombies, NPCs. Look at that, NPCs. Whoa. I, is JT talking Gen Z slang over here? Okay. We up, baby. <laughs> Period. Uh, that's going into a reel, and I'm probably going to get mocked like a motherfucker. Um, I don't care. Uh, I do it for the views. Nah, I don't. Um, <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck I was saying. <laughs> oh, shit. Why, why do I record podcast episodes at 2 a.m.? <laughs> I mean, I know why, but like, this is my life. I don't go out and party. I don't go to clubs. I don't drink. I smoke my weed. You know, if you watch the show or listen to the show, you can hear, or, you know, see, definitely smoking my weed. But not a drinker. I don't like going to clubs. Don't really like going to bars. And honestly, I don't have time for that. I don't even have time to do a lot of errands that I need to get done because of just the extreme mass, massive work overload. And I know that that will definitely get alleviated as this year progresses, as the show progresses and evolves and keeps, you know, getting bigger and bigger. To the point where I'll be able to hire multiple people to take care of literally 85% of the shit I gotta do behind the scenes, which essentially takes up minimum 15, 16 hours of my day. And then sometimes people, like, you know, I'm sure they're thinking to themselves, like, damn, this dude sounds tired or he looks tired or he's like stuttering or whatever it might be. Like, yeah, because I'm, I'm on E, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm on E. I, uh, it's not an easy thing, you know? Those, these 120, 130 hour weeks starting to catch up to me. You know, because mind you, I, I've been doing this since October at this, like, consistent level. And, you know, you just put 120 hours, that's three times the amount someone works at a traditional 9-to-5 job. And again, I'm not complaining. I signed up for this. This is my business, my show, my brand. I love it. But again, it's too much work behind the scenes. So, I mean, obviously and logically, I have to, you know, just keep doing it until I'm able to, you know, hire people to fit certain roles to make my job easier 
the show so much better because I'll be able to give, you know, really give it my all. I, I, I try and give it my all every single fucking show. But I know that there's days that I'm really off. Worse than others. And it's because I, you know, already worked 16 hours and now I got to record a show and put on a performance. I mean, that that's fine. I'm not complaining. But it's a lot of work and, it, and it's very draining. And then once, again, when I record the podcast, you know, say it's an hour long, add another five, six hours to that with editing you know, the audio, then video, then syncing the audio to the video, then uploading it, then editing and chopping it up, then uploading it to social media, then promoting it. <laughs> it's a lot of work. And I want to be able to give the best performance and the best shows that I can humanly fucking do possibly you know do that, that that's my goal that's what I want to do and I try and do that but again I, I know that there's some days that I'm not as good but I mean that's with any craft any industry at any level I mean we see that I mean prof professional athletes I mean they have off days Musicians, they, they have off days, lose their voice, but whatever it might be, you know, you can't be 100% precise all the time, but you should be trying to be 100% precise. And when I say that, I mean by putting in that effort and having that belief in that positive mentality associated with that. But it's just crazy. Just the videos that I've been uploading are doing pretty good. I mean, obviously some better than others. And like I've mentioned for the past four or five episodes, you know, I never thought I was funny enough to do stand-up. And I still don't think I'm funny enough to do stand-up. You know, I'm definitely funny. And I, I say my, you know, perceptive comments or whatever it might be, you know, my Larry David, you know, kind of moments. And people have told me throughout the years that, you know, I'm funnier than I, you know, than I thought or, you know, whatever it might be. But I, I just never thought like, yeah, I, I'm a comedian because I'm not, you know, because there's people that are, you know, fucking born to be a comedian, you know, like anything and everything they say, even if it's fucking a serious, you know, thing that they say, the way, the way they say it, the delivery, whatever it might be, a facial expression, they just, it's like something you either got it or you don't. Like, yes, you can learn and try and be a comedian, but it's not the same with acting. But you can definitely learn how to be funny. 
and write jokes or skits or sketches. But that's really and a lot different from doing literal stand-up comedy in front of people. And I think a lot of people don't fully understand that. Because you can be funny in, you know, be a writer for SNL or a late night talk show uh, like Fallon, Kimmel, whatever, or be a writer just for a sitcom or a movie or whatever it might be. And there's some brilliant writers that have written the best jokes or whatever in movies, TV shows, in the industry. And I'm sure that there are some of those people that could not do stand-up comedy at the same level that they're producing great content with their writing ability. But when it comes to stand-up, there's, a, there's an art to it. And obviously, the energy is so crucial when you do stand-up comedy. You literally have to have this energy where you're, you're basically so dominant with your energy that you're you know, controlling the room, obviously. I mean, you're on stage, you know, might even have a spotlight on you, and, you know, you're the center of attention, obviously. But, you know, you you say the wrong thing, or, I don't know, (laughs) you burp, or your delivery is a little off, or whatever it might be, you're testing out a new joke and it bombs right after, right after you say a really funny joke, which killed, and then you say a joke and it just absolutely fucking bombs. So it goes from everyone in the room, happy, laughing, you know, you know, smiling to then like dead silence. And you feel that. Obviously, because you just created that experience for everybody in that room. So now you have to, on the spot, counter that with something so superior that it shifts back the energy. 360. And that's why it's so hard for some people. Because it's not an easy thing to do. It's not. I really... You know... I know I'll definitely write a lot of stuff for film or TV in the future, but I really don't ever see myself literally doing stand-up comedy. You know, I, maybe I'll do a pull a Stevo and like try it one day, but I don't really think that's just not who I am. You know, I'm a fucking introvert. So the fact that I'm already like, you know, an actor or even do podcasting is so hypocritical. That's why I find it so funny when like I meet people that I first connected with on like social media and they obviously never met me. And if they see, like, the content that I post or things that I post, you know, 98% of the time, people say either, you know, 
the first time that I meet that person or, you know, a couple weeks later or days later, whatever it might be, like, like, yeah, I really thought you were going to be like the complete opposite, you know, of who you are. Because, yes, I, I do have this persona and alter ego. But that, that that's who I am. And that also comes with what I want to do with acting and with podcasting. You have to have your own unique sound, style, vibe. And you also have to be confident. You know, 50 Cent said, you know, I love that clip, the interview he did. You know, people are going to sometimes mistake my confidence for arrogance. And I know a lot of people do that for me. And I don't give a fuck because I, I don't care about other people's perceptions. But I know that there are people that do mistake my confidence for arrogance, but they don't know that it took me 13 years to get where I'm at right now. They don't know, you know, the 20,000 hours that I put into this. They don't know, you know, how much money I've invested into this. They don't know how many nights I cried myself to sleep thinking about, you know, is this fucking worth it? I'm killing myself. Like, like, is this worth it? You know, they they don't know that I I've done what I've had to do. I, I've paid my dues. I'm not saying that like everything should be handed to me. I want to work for things. I don't want things handed to me. Fuck that shit. I don't want any handouts. I don't. I don't want a small loan of a million dollars. Fuck out of here. Like Dame Dash said, you're only the boss if you put up your own fucking money. If you ain't putting up your, your own money, you're not the boss. I don't give a fuck if you got a loan, a family member cut you a check, you got a venture capitalist, a VC, whatever, angel investor, doesn't matter. If you're not putting up your own fucking money that you worked for, you aren't the boss. You aren't a real fucking boss. I said what I said. You know, Mark Cuban said, you know, one of the most common traits with successful people is that they are not afraid to go broke. And that is very true. I was not afraid to risk it all when I fully invested financially because I'm confident in who I am. I'm confident in the show, even though I'm not even at my peak, even though I have so much to work on. I'm confident that my brand, the value, not even like money wise in terms of value, but just like real value, what I stand for, what I say, you know, the people that listen or follow me and support me, and the vision. That's what's really important to me. And I know that this podcast, I know 
where and how big it can be. It will get. And I'm excited about that. I, I really am. Because again, I, I love doing this. You know? Started when I was a sophomore in high school with a fucking $15 microphone from Radio Shack. Now that just fucking aged me because I don't, fucking Radio Shack isn't even fucking open anymore. I don't even think it's like Blockbuster where they even have one location left. If that's even a thing. <laughs> Still, like, yeah. Like, damn, that microphone was fucking shitty. <laughs> Oh, man, it was so bad. It was so fucking bad. I mean, you can listen. Yeah, if you listen to my first interview, which I uploaded, fucking horrible. I was so bad. I was, <laughs> shout out to Sam, Sam Mello. That's it's crazy, you know, looking back. At that interview in January of 2011, so 12 years ago, and I was like, hey, it's a JT Talk Show, and I'm uh, here with, uh, I forgot his name, and he's like, yeah, hey, it's Sam Mello. <laughs> uh, the interview is so cringe. Oh my God, it's so bad. But I know it was going to go viral. It's going to go viral like, you know, one day, like really, really viral. And I, I've said it on the podcast, you know, years ago I tried to see if Sam could take down the video so it, you know, doesn't get millions and millions of views in the future. But he doesn't have access to the account so I'm like fuck you know it's eventually gonna get seen and brought to light so I might as well just upload it myself and show you this is where I started that's where I started and I think it's good to Be open to laughing at yourself. You know, it's okay to be serious and take things serious, especially your work, because I know I do. <laughs> if you follow me on Facebook or social media, you know I do. But sometimes you got to just be a little mellow. You got to simmer down a little bit. You can't take everything too serious. And I'm still trying to work on that, to be honest. Even though I'm very mellow, laid back, reserved, you know, that's what everyone says. And, and I know that's who I am, but like, I'm an introvert, and like, I don't know. I don't know, I just, if I fuck with your energy and I like who you are as a person, then, you know, as I get to know you, I'll open up more and you'll, you know, see more of me and my personality and character but I only share that with a selected few. You know, I'm very selective and picky and choosy. Is choosy a word? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> On who I, you know, because a lot of people, you know, either say they know me or, you know, used to know me years ago, like a decade plus or whatever, 
they don't know who I am. You know, there's only a few people that actually know know me. Honestly, and I'm very careful on, again, where I distribute my energy and allocate that because I know from first-hand experience multiple times it will come back and it will fuck you. And the quicker you are able to realize that, especially if you're in a cycle or pattern of doing that, man, it'll it'll really save you a lot of uh, time, energy, so many things. But again, you have to follow that intuition, that third eye, that heart, that soul. You gotta fucking follow it. Again, even if your mind is saying, no, this is not logical. Do not do it. Fuck that shit. Tell him to go fuck off. Tell him to go suck a kangaroo dick. <laughs> like, dead ass. Like, <laughs> yeah, like you really just need to have that kind of mindset. And I know I'm going on all these different tangents, but again, this is on air with JT. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really excited about the upcoming new podcast shows. You know, obviously I've discussed for a while now, I tease you guys, but the mental health, you know, slash spiritual but mostly mental health based podcast, which is launching soon. And there's also a couple other shows, but it's not going to be an improv, you know, improv type style, you know, format like this show or like any of my past shows. It's going to be, you know, with segments, structured. Obviously, it's going to be the same me. I'm going to be saying the same shit I would say. But it's just going to have a different vibe, a different theme. Yes, there's still going to be improv because that's just, that's just my style. But it, again, it's going, to, it's going to be more structured and, and just... I don't know. I I guess you'll just have to wait and see or, or listen for yourself. But yeah, we got those podcasts. Well, the podcast and then a couple other shows in the works. A few other things I can't mention at this current moment. We also got the podcast media network launching soon. My social media management and, uh, you know, consulting agency another media network obviously the acting I'm starting to write more skits and sketches I'm going to be doing a lot more you know remixing reels and doing those bullshit trend trend trending videos and all that even though I told myself I would never do it. But of course, the first time I do it, video hits, you know, almost 2 million views now on all platforms. We're over like 1.1 on Instagram. <laughs> the irony that my first video to hit a million views is a remix video of a reel. And I've never done a remix video on any platform. <laughs> the irony. <laughs> but... Yeah, I, and then just the little pepperoni skit that I did 
you know, on all platforms almost has a million views. On Instagram, it, it's almost at a half a million. And that, that was just a skit that I did that was totally, you know, improv. And the fact that it's still, you know, people are liking it and enjoying it, sharing it. I'm very, very grateful and very thankful. And, and it, it kind of created, you know, a, a spark within me to, again, experiment and, and try new things. Because as I stated, you know, towards the beginning of the show, I'm not a comedian. So this is something that I am trying to, you know, experiment with. And of course, with experimenting or trying something new, for the most part, you are not going to be naturally perfect at it. You got to put in those hours. You got to put in that time. You got to put in that blood. You got to put in that sweat. You got to put in those tears. So I know that there's going to be things that aren't going to be funny. And I know I've said this a few times now. But I just want to say one last time. There's going to be videos or jokes or things that I think might be funny. And other people are going to be like, what the fuck is this? (laughs) And that's fine. I'm okay with failing. I'm okay with creating something and putting it out into the world and maybe it's not received as well. That's okay. Because the only way to figure out what works and what doesn't is by doing it and and putting things out and, and seeing, okay, this works. Okay, this doesn't. So now next time you do it, okay, the thing that doesn't work, okay, well, I obviously don't do that. And the thing that does work, you know, obviously incorporate that into whatever you're trying to do next. And as you keep doing that and doing that and doing that, you evolve, you progress, you elevate, and you will rise. I promise you. But you have to be open And you have to really, truly accept that there's going to be times where you're going to fucking fail and you're going to fall. And I'm not talking about a light fall. There's going to be times where you fucking fall right on your fucking face. Just like. And you got to get back up. Shit, there might even be a group of people watching you. You gotta get back the fuck up. Especially if you want something bad enough, you will get right back the fuck up. Sometimes that fall, that that, that hit, might hit you a little bit harder than other times. So it might take you a few seconds longer, or maybe a minute longer to get up. But you will get up. And when you get up, you know, that progresses and increases your perseverance. And and that also definitely defines a lot of your character. It speaks volumes. You know, that's why... With acting, with podcasting, with being an entrepreneur, you know, all these things that I'm doing, 
you know, I joke about it all the time. Like, it's like universe, God, like why, why couldn't I, as I said that an orb flew by, that's fucking crazy. Thank you. Uh, I know that I'm surrounded by positivity, love. That was crazy. <laughs> wow. That's going into a reel. If you were just listening to that, <laughs> look at the time, you know, on the sh show the timestamp and go watch the video version. The cl no, that time. That's fucking wild. I don't even remember what I was saying. <laughs> that just fucking... Holy shit. I feel like I just got roofied. I feel like I'm in like hangover four. <laughs> uh, the funniest line from the first hangover. <laughs> what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Except herpes. That shit will come back with you. <laughs> uh, he's like, ah. <laughs> Uh, such a funny movie. Yeah, I literally don't know what I was saying. Like, as, like, when that orb flew by, like, that just, my mind went blank. <laughs> Almost pulled, like, a Wendy Williams. <sighs> when she fainted, that, that was scary. Her speech was, like, starting to get, you know, I mean, you could just see in her face. The frantic look. That's some crazy shit. Honestly. Yeah. But yeah, I, um, so yeah, just, I guess wh what I'm trying to say is that I'm trying to see what I can do with writing comedy and sketches or skits. You know, I've always wanted to write like movie scripts and like, like stuff like that. But I want to explore and see what I can do with this. You know, I know that there's only there's going to be a cap on what I can do in comedy. But there's really no cap with what I can do in podcasting and especially with acting. You know, I don't know. I, I feel like I'm pretty versatile. Again, I mean, obviously I'm not like a Jamie Foxx. I can't sing. I'm not a comedian, but... I got the acting, got the, you know, podcasting, radio host, you know, or like on camera host down. I got the improv down, which is really kind of hard to master. And I, I'm not saying I'm a master at improv. The marketing. Like, all of these things, again, I learned by myself, on my own, did not have any mentor or someone teaching me the ropes. Everything that I learned, all the failures and mistakes that I've experienced, I experienced those from my own doing. Which is a good thing. I mean, it's not, I'm not saying it's like a bad thing. But I didn't have someone kind of guiding me or shifting me in a the right way, you know. Because sometimes in life, we kind of, even if you think you're on track and going straight, you know, with life and shit that will occur kind of might drift a little bit to the left or drift a little bit to the right, you know, if we're on the highway, you know, get a little, 
you know, drift a little bit and you, you know, hit the, uh, the side of the highway, the car starts, you know, what do, I, I can't even explain like what it's called, but like, you know what I'm talking about. And your car, you know, it's like the gravel or whatever, like your car starts, like you're going to shift off. You're going to drift off sometimes in life during different stages and whatever it might be. And it's very essential to try your best to have somewhat of some kind of understanding and self-awareness to when you are starting to drift away or starting to, you know, you know, the GPS is saying recalculating, 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 recalculating. Like, bitch, shut the fuck up. <laughs> you, know, you know, that's when sometimes the universe or God or whatever you believe in sometimes has to intervene. Whether you know it or not, or if you don't believe in it, that's okay. But like, I, I, I know that's what happened to me. And I know that's what it happens to a lot of people. But sometimes that's important because there's lessons that there's so many lessons that you, you know, can gain and experience and so much data and insight that you can acquire. But it's with, it's really what you do with that data and that information, that intel. It, it's how you analyze it. And when you are analyzing it, you have to be open-minded you have to be you just have to be free you, you just have to have room to fail you have to have room to make mistakes you honestly do if you don't then you're just fucking yourself you know I said this quote, I came up with this quote yesterday. You know, true growth is only possible through experimentation. Embracing openness and allowing oneself to make mistakes and gather data from each experience is essential. It is the willingness to try, fail, and ultimately learn from these failures that deepens one's acceptance of their readiness to ascend to new heights. And I truly believe that. Honestly do. Again, thank you to everybody that shows love and support. I fucking appreciate it. You guys have no idea. Really. I am so thankful and grateful. I really am. And, you know, as we're in May now, Expect a lot of new things and exciting things to be coming with the show. So that's all I'm going to say right now. You're going to have to wait and see, or wait and hear for yourself. But there's some really cool interviews, really cool topics and discussions, and a lot more. May is going to be a great month for On Air with JT. And we would not be 
where we are if it wasn't for all of you. So again, thank you. I really do appreciate it. And like always, you can watch the full episodes at my YouTube channel at On Air with JT. You can listen to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio. You can follow me on social media. All of the links is at onairwithjt.com. I do mainly use my main Instagram, which is Justin Thomas Insta. But all the links to follow me on social media, watch the show, all the links to listen to the show, or to even get in contact with me, just head over to onairwithjt.com. But I do know that there are a lot of people that listen to the podcast on their iPhone, on the Apple Podcast app. And if you do listen to the show and you like the show and you are a fan, a supporter, a follower, if you could do me one favor, I would greatly appreciate it. And, you know, if you're hearing this, you're already on the app. So all you got to do is go back to the app, type in On Air with JT, you know, scroll all the way down and you can rate the show one out of five stars. I would greatly appreciate it. Once again, all the links to follow me, listen to me, get in contact with me, head over to onairwithjt.com. For advertising, partnerships, sponsorships, business inquiries, or more, you can email me at onairwithjt at gmail.com. That's onairwithjt at gmail.com. This episode is brought to you by PurpleRoseSupply.com. Well, Purple Rose Supply. You can go to PurpleRoseSupply.com to check out their amazing products. Because, again, I smoke my Canagar every morning, every night. You know, sometimes I smoke one in, you know, midday, 12, 1 o'clock. And it saves you so much. It, I, I can't tell you how much weed I fucking saved how much money I've saved how much higher I get in just the one month of using the can of guards it's ridiculous like you're gonna you're gonna fucking shock yourself and again I teamed up with Purple Rose Supply where we are offering a 20% discount 20% off Yeah, 20% off. But you can only get that by using my promo code JT20. That's promo code JT20. So head over to purplerosesupply.com. Enter promo code JT20 for 20% off. Again, this does exclude some premium items and refurbished molds. But other than that, Most of the items, 20% off. But again, you have to use my promo code, JT20. That's purplerosesupply.com. You can also follow them on Instagram at purplerosesupply. Thank you so much for listening or watching to today's show. I really do appreciate it. And I hope you have a great day. The motherfucking JT way. JT did it again. This is On Air with JT. Join JT. Visionary and host for a 420 friendly improv and variety talk show featuring pop culture, news, interviews, debates, and the home of the famous JT Rants. Here, mental health awareness is at the forefront, with JT on a mission to inspire and spread mental health awareness. Available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and YouTube. You can stay up to date and get in touch by heading to onairwithjt.com. To contact the show directly or for business inquiries, use onairwithjt at gmail.com. On Air with JT, hosted by JT and Maddie. On Air with JT. Listen to On Air with JT on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, and YouTube. Go to onairwithjt.com. If you are a business owner, brand, company, or anyone selling a product and you want to advertise on this podcast, email the show directly at onairwithjt at gmail.com. 
We are offering extremely low rates for a limited time. Once again, email the show at onairwithjt at gmail.com. JT did it again. JT here. JT did it again. This is On Air with JT. Join JT, visionary and host for a 420-friendly improv and variety talk show. Featuring pop culture, news, interviews, debates, and the home of the famous JT Rants. Here, mental health awareness is at the forefront, with JT on a mission to inspire and spread mental health awareness. Available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and YouTube. You can stay up to date and get in touch by heading to onairwithjt.com. To contact the show directly or for business inquiries, use onairwithjt at gmail.com. On Air with JT, hosted by JT and Maddie. On Air with JT. Listen to On Air with JT on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, and YouTube. Go to onairwithjt.com. If you are a business owner, brand, company, or anyone selling a product and you want to advertise on this podcast, email the show directly at onairwithjt at gmail.com. We are offering extremely low rates for a limited time. Once again, email the show at onairwithjt at gmail.com. JT did it again. JT here. If you smoke blunts or joints, you probably don't realize how much time you actually spend rolling. Sure, one joint here or one blunt here might not seem like a lot at face value, but if you added up all that time that you spent rolling, even within a week span, I think you'd be pretty surprised on how much time you wasted when you can actually apply the time doing the things you actually love doing. The solution? More smoking, less rolling. With a canagar that burns longer instead of rolling four joints of back to back next time you're with your friends make a canagar and burn just as long if not longer even in the smallest size that holds one to two grams you're gonna still get more out of that gram to a canagar as opposed if you rolled it in a regular blunt or a joint since it burns way longer so you can fully enjoy each gram so how does it work good question the bud is compressed into the mold with the skew you are placed in the middle for the airflow. Since the herbs is lightly compressed, it leaves less space for the air pockets in your roll, hence a slower burn, since fire needs air to move quicker. I personally love using my Canagar. I smoke one in the morning and at night. Honestly, I highly recommend it. PurpleRollSupply.com. You know what they say, a Canagar a day keeps the doctor away. Get your Canagar today at PurpleRollSupply.com. And if you use my promo code, you will receive 20% off. Yes, 20% off. So use promo code JT20 at purplerosesupply.com. That's P-U-R-P-L-E-R-O-S-E-S-U-P-P-L-Y.com. Purplerosesupply.com. Use promo code JT20 for 20% off. JT approved. This is is On Air with JT. Join JT, visionary and host for a 420-friendly improv and variety talk show. Featuring pop culture, news, interviews, debates, and the home of the famous JT Rants. Here, mental health awareness is at the forefront, with JT on a mission to inspire and spread mental health awareness. Available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and YouTube. You can stay up to date and get in touch by heading to onairwithjt.com. To contact the show directly or for business inquiries, use onairwithjt at gmail.com.